How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another tips and tricks video. I believe we're at number five now and what I'm going to be talking about today is called a riser. Um, at least that's what I call it. Basically what it is is going to be a synth that rises in pitch over a span of time and we can do this by modulating it by an envelope. Fun stuff, fun stuff. So um, I've been meaning to make some more of these tips and tricks videos um, and I got this uh, question a while ago, so um, I thought this would be a great chance to start um, getting another or this tips and tricks video um, playlist going again. So uh, here we are, here we are. Okay, so we're looking at the ES2 synthesizer. All that I have loaded at this point is a sign patch. And what I'm going to be doing right now is just building a uh, synth that when I start modulating it will rise the or the pitch of the synth will rise over a course of time. <coughs> oh man. So um let's see. I'm going to be using all three of the synthesizers, one, two, and three for this. Um I'm going to be putting on the unison. I'll kick that up to six. Make sure it's on mono. Um, I like adding a little bit of phaser, um, medium intensity, but a low speed. And then, let's see. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, what if we take the pitch down of that second one? All right, that's not too bad. So we will work with that. Now, the whole point of this is to make that synth rise in pitch. So as we come down here to the middle bar, we can select our target to be our pitch one, two, and three. So we will be looking at the pitch of all three synthesizers. What's nice is we can also do it with pitch one, two, and three separately. We can even put them on different, um, um, different little boxes, and then we can uh, make the pitch rise differently for each uh, pitch or each synthesizer inside of here. Um, very cool, very fun to play with, but um, I'm going to be just messing with pitch 1, 2, and 3 all at the same time. Now this uh, green bar that I have is set the very top. That means that it will rise in pitch, start out low, and then go high. Um, if I set it below, it will, go, it will start high and go to the low. And since I'm doing a riser, I'm going to hit it up to the very top. And now um, I'm going to have my source being sent to envelope 1. And envelope 1 is right down here. And basically all this is is a certain algorithm, poly, mono, or retrig. I usually use mono. And then an attack time and a decay time. Um, if you don't know what attack and decay is, the longer the attack the longer the rise is going to be on the synth. Okay, the shorter it obviously means the shorter the rise will be. The de decay is how long it will take for that pitch to, at that very peak, fall back down to the normal pitch. So I usually have that about middle, and to show you um, what I mean by attack and decay, I will do this. <laughs> So if we have it at the top, it will rise over a very long period of time. And that's what we want, a riser. Alright, so um, I'm going to set the d decay a little bit higher. So it doesn't have that sharp, like, it, it rising and then falling right back down to that bass note. Um, I have that up a little bit high too. So the attack and decay high means that it will rise over a long period of time and fall over a long period of time. Alright. And then if we sit it down to the bottom, let's see what happens. Like I said, it will fall. Rising and falling. 
um, by using the envelope one and uh, modulating pitch one, two, and three of this synthesizer. So thanks for watching everyone. This is another installment in the tips and tricks videos. If you have suggestions on future videos, um, something you'd like to learn, um, hit me up in the comments below and if I know how. And even if I don't know, I will try to learn. I will do my best. Uh, so hit me up in that comment. Send me a message. Please comment. Please rate and subscribe. And hopefully I will be seeing you very soon. Peace out.